Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Schomer. Today, we're going to create the Darth Vader cocktail. This recipe comes from Stefan. And the Darth Vader cocktail, I don't even know what it's going to look like. Don't It'd be it. cooler if it came from Luke. Yeah, it would. That would <laughs> be funny. You should change your name, Stefan, just for this cocktail. Lots of alcohols here, so I put it on a Friday show because it's no pants Friday. So what we're going to do is vodka, tequila, rum, gin, triple sec. We're going to do a top with sweet sour mix, We're going, which I made naturally. We're going to uh, top it with then top it with Jaeger. That's probably the Darth part of the Vader. Darth or maybe part. that's the... <sighs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. Anyway. <laughs> I don't even know what it, you just totally threw me off now. <laughs> That's messed up. All right. <laughs> I announced it, everything. Sounds pretty easy, right? Except for the stuff I said top with. We're using number 209 gin. This is a really expensive gin from, uh, where the hell is this from? California, I think. Uh, I just bought American. it for a review. It's American style, yeah. Um, distilled Napa Valley. When from I say really wine expensive, country? in wine country. Because there's lots of juniper in wine country. Yeah. Um, and it's not all... I, whoa, I should probably put that in there. What is juniper? What is juniper? It's yeah. a bush. It's a berry. It's a bush. Oh, it's a berry. Yeah. A juniper berry. Well, if you can grow grapes, why can't you grow juniper? Oh, you could grow it. It's not like it's this untamed, wild beast. Cabo Wabo. Blanco, by the way. Absolute. You know, I think they made me a fan. Yeah, they're good vodka. I kind of... I... They opened oh. our eyes. If nothing yeah, else. I guess I'm a fan. Um, <laughs> fan boy. I know. And here's a rum I haven't used yet. I don't know. It didn't say light or dark rum, so I just went with um, Mixer's Choice. And this one's going to be a Pamparo Anniversario Reserva Exclusiva imported from Venezuela, Ron and Yeho. That's our, um, this is from our old rum, right? Our new. Yeah. It's a Yeho rum. I really don't that care might be a little is. excessive. It is probably excessive. Drink responsibly. But I don't really care. I just wanted to have a good time. And one ounce. And I wanted to, I like to show off different things, especially considering a lot of the stuff we bought at the store for ABV. And I just want to use it. Like, so it's used. There's not a lot of calling for that type of rum. So I'm going to use it liberally wherever I can. Is that okay? Hey, huh? I dare not disagree with you. That's right. All right. Oh, I'm going to stir this one. I don't know why. So there's a lot of alcohol and stuff in here, but I guess because I can. It'll keep it from getting all cloudy, too. Where's my other stuff? I guess I can ice this up. See what I'm doing? Might be excessive amount of ice. Just a bit. But, uh... They right. melt it together. I was buying time for this to chill up a little bit. I just get hit in the face with water. How's that feel? I feel violated. Gonna Sorry leave to hear room. that. I know. Okay, so it looks like we have two here. I could have easily split the ingredients for this specific cocktail. What am I doing? All right, we're gonna top it. And top it again. And top it again. Raise it up. Top it with some da 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 da. <laughs> Sorry. Really? That's what that's called? <laughs> Darth Vader. There you go. That is the Darth Vader. I so see him in there. <laughs> if you look around, it's very freaky looking, actually. Yeah, it is. Which is neat. I like neat. I like freaky. I like them all. It smells like uh, Jaeger. Who would have saw that coming? Sour. The heck was that? <laughs> That was me getting sour face. Woo. Whoa. Ah, I think I'm going to need this end moment because I think I just got lightheaded. That drink is potent. Black licorice, herbs, oranges. 
black licorice? Yeah, I, don't know. I think it might be this. It's, it's just got that an- anisette, a- a- anise, 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 whatever. It's just got that black licorice taste to it. Do I pick out tequila, gin, and vodka? No. The vodka I'd be able to pick out because that's a pretty, pretty defining vodka. Um, I'd pick out potent. Like all these guys together, they build Devastator. Rah! He just watched Transformers. Can you tell? Yeah. Uh, no, it's it's very potent um, on the alcohol side. So, and I know people like that. They like the the manly grows hair on your chest. So, if you're looking for that, and you definitely 100% have to be a Jaeger fan because the Jaeger is the first thing you're gonna taste. It's the herbal qualities come right in. Then you get a little sour bite from your sweet sour. Mine's probably a little more sour than sweet because I added a little lime to it. Lemon and lime. Um, so keep those in mind. I think that's pretty much the best description I could give you for the Darth Vader. If you're looking for a theme drink, maybe if you had a Darth Vader doll, you could hang on the side as a garnish. You could do that. Um, yeah, because people love to hang dolls in their drink. I just like to keep it open for everybody. There's people who dress up in fur and outfits and have... Dress up in what kind of outfits? Fur. Oh. Dolls. Okay. How do we wrap this up? everything. Anyway. Alcoholsbyvolume.com, everydaydrinkers.tv, Darth Vader cocktail. Thank you, Stefan. We're teaching you how to drink.